you're stuck in a video game for one week, you can't use any cheat code and if you die in the game you die in real life, but everything you win or earn in the game, money, cars, houses, will be brought to your life, which video game do you choose and what do you do? Cookie clicker so I earn an insane amount of assets and so much money that inflation increases by 200% when I get back, but you'd end up with, well just billions of cookies that go off. Minecraft on peaceful mode, I'll just go mine for diamonds and gold and stack up on expensive materials until I return to the real world, just don't dig straight down. Venture capitalist, playing that for a week straight would be boring, but you'd end up being the world's first quadrillionaire or something. Pokemon, because you can't buy it, plus, farming money on the Elite 4 is easy and then you get to have Pokemon IRL, yay. Just make sure you release all but 3 to 6 of them back into the wild before the week is up, otherwise you're stuck taking care of 50 plus dangerous animals, or you'd have to let them go into the wild on our world, where they'd probably fuck up the wildlife population. And ecosystem. Stardew Valley, free house, land, money, and dog slash cat. Also potential spouse, if you wanna go that way, this is one of the most reddit things ever said. You all are thinking small time, civilization, at which point you are taken in as a slave. Sim City, then I own a whole town when it is over. Small Fry, place Hellaris, own the galaxy, once more the Sith will rule the galaxy. Some Roblox Tycoon Simulator, 0% chance of death and lots of money without me having to really do all that much. Skyrim, wait a week, done, you cannot wait while enemies are nearby, fuck. GTA, cause you never die, you only ever go to the hospital, proceed to make bank stealing and selling cars, and speed running the campaign, getting millions, then investing in stock, getting billions, so, basically just real life without dying, in San Andreas you can get in the best shape of your life by exercising for 1 minute for 3 days and eating pizza and fried chicken and cheeseburgers, gets you to full health. Forza Horizon 4, so many cars, can't die either, what would happen the first time you smashed into the Edinburgh tram at 260 miles per hour though? Spider-Man, the cool part is that all the suits that I get will come back with me, surely all the web shooters and gadgets were too, that said, no powers, so you could either swing very small distances with a lot of practice, or try to be Spider-Man and have your arms be immediately torn from their sockets, what if you could somehow bring back the radioactive spider, need to find a game that includes Spidey's origin story. The Sims, cuss it's the only fucking game I know how to play and I could become a farmer and make hella money, I'd also pick The Sims, even without using cheats all I have to do to become a millionaire is paint excessively. Dark Souls, I wonder what the moment you realize you aren't undead is going to be like, he's gonna start the zombie apocalypse, are you high, are you not, world of warcraft, I'd just sit on the auction house for a week trading, almost no chance of dying and, when I came back I'd have some crazy exotic pets, some awesome looking cosplay and a shit ton of gold coins, which I could then sell off, logical, but I don't think I could do that the temptation to go outside and admire the landscape slash landmarks would just be too great. I'd probably be dead in about 10 minutes. All these people are just talking about bringing back money or things they can sell for money, frick that. World of Warcraft has health potions, and food that magically heals your injuries as you eat it and it literally never goes bad. It's easy to not die if you're careful and know your class, you could easily get to a medium level and earn clothing that makes you stronger, smarter, and faster. I can make money in this world, maybe not quadrillions of dollars, but enough to get by, but nothing in this world will let me fall off a cliff, break my legs and shatter my spine, and then have a quick snack and I'm fine again. To say nothing of health potions, gunshot to the chest health pot, anything that doesn't kill me instantly I can just shrug off. And forget about the plus intelligence and plus strength clothing. This is confusing. BRB with my wizard hat. Yeah I can help you move that boulder. Just let grab my leather shirt. Oh and of course a mount that you can just summon out of nowhere. Probably go warlock because that'd make a hell of an entrance at a party. Star Trek Online. Just float around in my ship for a week, then return to the real world with a fucking starship, 
This would not only make you rich, but also would progress the human race more than any other response here. A++ would upvote again. Ah, the gold mine of reverse engineering that would follow. The Sims as long there is no arsehole who removed the ladder when I'm in my swimming pool. This is golden Mr. Skeletal it appears only once every 20,000 years. Like the video and subscribe to comment a woods in 20 seconds or you will never have calcium and good bones again. Now back to scheduled programming. Minecraft is incredibly easy if you are careful to always sleep at night so monsters don't spawn. 3 days is plenty of time to get some golden diamonds very carefully mined. Could probably go the whole time without even taking any damage. Day 1 full focus on getting wool for a bed. And enough food and wood to last the next days. Day 2 through 6 careful strip mining. Dodging any caves so there's no risk. Could easily come back with millions in golden diamonds. Maybe billions. Or just do it on peaceful. By that logic why not creative mode. Subnautica. I can chill in the surface level biomes, collect gems and precious metals from the area, build a seamoth and slash or prawn suit to bring back with me. Any Harry Potter game, I'd get a wand and magic stuff, plus the tasty candies, enjoy the rotten egg vomit flavor. Nicopera, you capitalists don't know true bliss until you're surrounded by domestic cat girls. Not the best answer in terms of life but the best answer in terms of spirit. Screw money, screw items. I'm acquiring my cat girl Hari. This guy truly is the ultra weeb master. Any of those idle games, like idle miner comes to mind. You can't buy in the game, and the money earnings are simply astronomical. In that game I'd hop in as a manager and just order the miners to keep digging. Okami, I can make an ass load of ancient money, which are highly valuable and even more so in perfect condition, and I get to be a god and fight demons. RuneScape, a lot of people give noobs free shit if they just talk to them. I mean hell when I rejoined I chatted with some dude about quests for a bit and he gave me several million gold. Gonna be so goddamn rich after that one week. Slime Rancher, make lots of money farming adorable slime creatures with very low risk of dying. May Fear Wars, literally no chance of death. Step 2, Profit, that's how Mafia works. Well not Breath of the Wild. I'd wind up with a bunch of shit that breaks after you use it twice, and a house that always has two dudes squatting on the front lawn. The bike would be sweet though. Warframe. Knowing the community, people would hopefully protect me to make sure I don't die, and after the week is over, I get a frame and various weapons. Where do I sign up? Wheel of Fortune. Get off the internet grandma. I would play Destiny, too, because if you die in that game a friendly ghost will just revive you anyway, unless you wipe in a dark zone. I always wipe my dark zone. Euro Truck Simulator 2. It's literally impossible to die in this game and I can win around half a million on my own. Over 2 million with my employees. Fable 2. I'd work my ass off and become a landlord and get a hot wife or two. Hopefully the income of gold would still apply IRL. I'll go with something easy like Yoshi's story. I'll spend my week eating fruit and collecting gold coins with little to no fear of death. Wario Land 3. It's a game about winning treasure. There's only one way to die, and that's the final boss. I won't fight the final boss. He asks you to get him stuff, and I'll just make excuses for a week. He can't do anything unless I get him the stuff, and I just get a bunch of treasure and sell it off later. One of those money clicking games. Titanfall 2. I would bring back giant titans and people would think it was the end of the world. GTA V. Just stay in the nice part of the map. Technically you never die just go to the hospital. Where you only have to pay what the visit was actually worth instead of the gouged real world prices. What if I just got to keep that instead of all that expensive cars and illegal guns garbage. Just affordable hospital treatments. So obviously you want a game with a great risk, reward ratio and low difficulty. I choose Civilization 6 on easy with a huge map. You can't actually die per SE. And I would come out as king of the world with more wealth than even exists. Sounds good. Adventure communism. Capitalist or do you want potatoes instead? Madden. I'd be a third string quarterback due to my age and physical size so I wouldn't see the field. But I'd earn an NFL paycheck. Skyrim. Just grind alchemy and enchanting until the week is up. 
I come home with magic rings at speed healing and a bunch of cure disease potions. Do you have any idea how freaking valuable those would be? I don't. But I do know that once you can persuade us some rich folk they are legit. You could almost name your price. Dark Souls. Mama didn't raise no pussy. Uncharted. We'll get some cool artifacts and not get into any gunfights. Gmod. I'll just grab the gravity gun and wait. Pokemon. Specifically Pokemon Diamond. I just need to get into the tunnels. Gonna get lots of shiny things. Also you never die in Pokemon so that's fine. Jurassic World Evolution. Since it's a part management game, I'm never at any risk of dying. After the week is done, I get to keep millions of dollars in the dinosaur park. Which, if we assume that they still function by normal video game means, I can manage perfectly fine since I know exactly what I'm supposed to do. Scribblenauts. I can just write anything to existence. Roller coaster Tycoon. Can't die. End owning a massive theme park. Kirby's Epic Yarn. Not only can you not die, but you'd never need to go to Michael's Art Supplies ever again. You have been visited by the Source Chihuahua. You will be blessed with good pasta, but only if you comment Simma well papa. PG. On top, food chain, won't stop, new game, boss box that blue haze, one lot, two chains, no bras, two bays, mic drop, new stage, lights in my rear view, five cops, full race, faster than a Tesla, they say I'm exhausted, looking for success, like I'm crazy and lost it, higher than a jet, guess my weed is a rocket, the comments that my vids get are wild.